This here is a customs drug dog. He's telling me that you smell like drugs today. You're either carrying drugs or you use drugs. Which one is it? Midday at Auckland Airport sees customs officer Brad and his drug dog Waldo checking exhausted passengers off their 12-hour flight from Hong Kong. But Waldo's not tired. He's on top form, indicating on a man who's come all the way from France. All right, are you traveling by yourself today? No. No? Who are you traveling with? Sorry? Who are you traveling with today? Uh, Hong Kong from Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah. You're traveling by yourself? One person? Uh, by uh, with my Two. Girlfriend. Okay. This here is a customs drug dog. Yeah? He's telling me that you smell like drugs today. Explain to me why that might be. I don't understand. The Frenchman uses his lack of English as an excuse, so Brad rephrases his question. This dog is a very well-trained dog. He's picked you out of everyone else on this flight. You smell like drugs. You're either carrying drugs or you use drugs. Which one is it? Uh, in France, I use drugs, but very, uh... Uh, how would I can say? Not often. Not often? Yeah, when, when was the last time you used drugs? Uh, one week ago. One week ago? Yes, yes. Okay. So he's a drug user, but what does he use and does he have any with him? What we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to have a look, okay? Because um, of the reaction of the dog, okay. I suspect you could have something on you, okay? I need you to keep your hands out of your pockets, please. Okay. And we will be right behind you, all right? Okay. Oh, well done. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Just had a dog body indication by Waldo. The passengers uh, admitted to smoking cannabis a week ago. Due to the reaction, we're going to take him in for a search. Okay, just keep walking where it says customs goods. Customs officer Justine takes Waldo's latest offering and discovers the Frenchman, who is here for a six month working holiday, also has a ready prepared excuse for Waldo's indication. Uh, I have a smoke in France last week, and uh, I think that's why. Right. Do you have any drugs on you? The next question has a jaw-dropping answer. Any drugs in your bags? Yes. What sort of drugs have you got in your bags? Cannabis. How much cannabis? One gram. One gram? Do you have any other drugs on you? This stunning admission means only bad news for his girlfriend. She may have drugs as well, so officers take swabs from her luggage to try and rule her out. The results are a major concern. When's the last time you used cocaine? Mm -hmm. Long time? Yes. OK, you mean long time last year? Like, what month last year or what day? Do you remember? I don't know. I don't know. She may have forgotten, but the machine is much more reliable. It suggests this couple's drug use was quite recent. So you're not a positive for methamphetamine, so... Is that the you know, first one for me? That's the second one. Is your bag? Yes, and my mom and my sister is not. It's impossible. OK, that's OK. That's fine. Let's grab a seat. Further analysis will be required. So while the results are scrutinised, the Frenchman has taken off for a personal search as a Frenchman has admitted to smoking drugs and importing hash. Even worse, he and his girlfriend's luggage have high readings for meth and coke. Is your bag? Yes, and my mom and my sister is not impossible. The Frenchman was taken off for a personal search. Nothing was found on him. So where is his little stash of hash? Custom staff keep looking. Meanwhile, despite the high readings for Class A produced by swabs of the female's bags, nothing is found. She must now wait for her wayward boyfriend. A quick fossick through his pockets reveals the stash. OK, so what is this? So you've got more in the bag as well? The uh, passengers indicated that um, this is cannabis found in his jeans pocket. He has indicated that he's got more in his bags as well. His number two supply is found and documented. Sophie, can you come back with the camera, please? The Frenchman fails to see what all the fuss is about. I have one gun with cannabis, but it's not a criminal. Of course it is. It was a silly risk to take. Cannabis possession is as illegal in France as it is in New Zealand, and both countries use drug dogs at their airports. Even a small amount means only one thing for the unhappy couple. Yeah, 
you didn't realise the, the severity of, of what you've done. So mm. I'm not here. The Frenchman and his girlfriend pack up before saying hello to immigration officials. They had to say goodbye to their working holiday in New Zealand and hello to cabin staff on their next flight home to France. The couple were denied entry to New Zealand and returned to France later in the day. The hashish was destroyed. Another happy ending for drug dog Waldo. Good lad. At Auckland International Mail Centre, Ministry for Primary Industries handler Karen and her six-year-old Labrador Ebony are combing the mail belt for anything that could pose a risk to New Zealand's many lucrative exports. Let's go. Find it. A recent package from the UK triggers Ebony's razor-sharp sense of smell. Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Woohoo! One paycheck paid in full. Yeah, it's a good response. She's trained to scratch or bite so on, um... Many of our target odors, so yeah, classic. Good. Karen takes the mystery package to find out what's inside. While checking packages at the International Mail Centre, biosecurity detector dog Ebony indicated on this package. Good girl. This suggests that seeds, plants, meat, or animal products could be inside. Ministry for Primary Industries handler Karen is just about to crack the seal on the mystery itself. Okay, so here's the uh, little envelope that Ebby was interested in from the UK. And we've got a plain piece of paper and two foil envelopes that have the names of seeds on them. So I just need to check on our uh, biosecurity index and make sure that the seeds are okay. Karen finds these seeds pass New Zealand's biosecurity regulations. Our biosecurity index is a, basically a listing of all the plant species that we know of and um, it lists whether the seeds are permitted into New Zealand or not and they're basic seeds so they're not of a risk to us. But these seeds won't be released to the importer just yet. They will need to be checked by customs to make sure they don't contain any properties that could be classed as illegal drugs. So there's a whole packet of them there, quite a few. The seeds have been identified as Hawaiian baby wood rose, native to the islands themselves and endemic in India, Madagascar and the Caribbean. Due to their hallucinogenic properties, the seeds are not welcome in New Zealand. I hear that the product um, is very, very similar to LSD and some say it's even stronger, the consistency. This is a really good find for MPI and us. Um, it's good that we all work as one team and their dog hitting on a seed which is actually a um, prohibited import for us. The seeds were seized and destroyed at the Customs Drug Destruction Centre. Good work by Ministry for Primary Industries, Don Gibbony. Good 